Hey guys, my name is Thomas and today I'm not really tinkering on anything. Maybe I'm tinkering with your minds more than anything else, making you think about what the future of electric trucks will be. Because right now there's no fully electric truck on the market. Currently though, you can put a deposit down for what is called the Rivian R1T. And I guess the closest competitor, which is the Tesla pickup truck. We don't know a whole lot about either one. Rivian just released some of the specs about their truck and had a big conference where they released their pickup truck as well as the SUV. A little while ago, Tesla had a big conference where they released their giant semi as well as a pickup truck. Before we talk about the specs, so on this channel, I do a lot of review videos and I also do some how-to videos on how to clean up your car and do a couple things for free here and there. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe if you like what I do here. Now, to get into the specs of the Rivian R1T versus the Tesla pickup truck. Now, we don't know a whole ton about either truck. We know more about the Rivian than we do about the Tesla pickup. Currently, the Rivian is boasting a 400 plus mile range, which is San Francisco to Yosemite and back. And for being an electric car, they have a pretty impressive depth as well. You can go three feet or one meter into water when you're dropping off your boat or whatever it may be and you'll be perfectly fine. Now the thing that really gets me is the zero to 60 time. It is three seconds for a truck that's insane. They're able to pull it off with 750 horsepower coming from four motors because there obviously will be different options with the four motors 750 horsepower which again for a truck is absolutely unheard of even the Dodge Ram SRT 10 doesn't have numbers like that obviously with horsepower like that you're also gonna have tons of torque especially since it is gonna be electric motors driving this truck and don't worry they're not missing out anything there there is a ton of torque on this truck too the wheelbase is 3.45 meters and the track of the truck is 1.71 meters which is the front tire to the back tire. The ground clearance is 0.36 meters. They're saying that there's 350 liters of gear tunnel volume and 330 liters of front trunk volume. They're calling the front trunk the frunk because it's a trunk that's in the front. And the last thing about the Rivian is that it's kind of in between a full-size truck and a mid-size truck. It doesn't really fit into either bracket, but it seems to do the job of both. So that is the Rivian R1. T. The R1T stands for Rivian One and then Truck. Now the Tesla seems to be an entirely different ball game. It is obviously a much bigger truck. I remember when they had this at the conference and they were showing these sketches of it, they said that you can fit a full-size truck into the bed of their truck. So this kind of makes it more or less in between a full-size truck and a semi almost. Apparently this thing's just going to be a monster. Now this is still a concept. I've not seen an actual version of this that's being made. Elon Musk is definitely a dreamer. Now when it comes to the specs, the stats, and basically all the numbers that we're dying to know about this thing, there isn't really a whole lot out there. One source is saying that it's going to have a 200 kilowatt hour battery. It'll be able to do a 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, travel 380 miles. Now I'll say it again, Elon Musk is definitely a big kid. He is a dreamer. He wanted these numbers to be astonishing. I feel like the whole appeal to this truck is the fact that you can fit a full size truck into the bed of it. I'm just waiting to see something physical, something that's actually being made, something in person. Sadly though, that is really all we know about these trucks. You can compare them, I guess, because they're both going to be one of the first electric trucks out there, but they are going after, I think, different markets because the Tesla is going to be so big and yet the Rivian is kind of somewhere in the middle. I'm happy to see what they did with both of the trucks. If I had to pick one from what I've seen so far with the numbers, the Rivian just seems to pack more punch and be more compact and user friendly. That is it for me though. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. If you found this interesting, you learned something. I'll catch you on the next one. A peace.